He said, if the branch is at least a foot in diameter, he might reconsider the policy. Asshole. <laughs> You're making the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, there's a hurricane going on. I'm sitting down and getting drunk. But I'd rather do it at Andy Nelson's. Obviously, he has a pool table. Yeah, and an air hockey table. What? Yeah, they got it two weeks ago. Arcade quality. <sighs> I love air hockey. I hate Charles. You shouldn't get to make decisions like this because your rich dad died. <laughs> You're kind of a mean drunk. I'm not even drunk yet. Well, I guess I should help you slow down then. To the queen of air hockey. Oh, I would have put on quite the show. expecting customers. But you are working. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Do neither of you fear the storm? No, that's not really on us. Mm. Right. Uh, but if you're here, we are happy to have you. We shall see. Okay, great. Let me go get you a menu. Hey, guys, could you come here for a minute? Is it okay if just Irma comes over there? No. Damn it! <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Um, you know, you have to go back there. If you're willing to wait a bit, we will make you whatever you want. My business is here. My business is Great. here. Great. <laughs> we'll be right back. One. Thirsty? Let's go. Oh. All right, cards on the table, guys. My Nana is in this sort of pagan cult thing. Yikes. She said that us working was an affront to the storm goddess and that we would have to face her judgment. I think we're gonna be okay. But guys, she was chanting in a weird language and as soon as she stopped, the lights started flickering and that's when the customer walked in. Who you now assume is the storm goddess. Ilva. Yeah. I'm gonna go start prepping food. Hold on. Let's at least hear what this Yelva's judgment will look like. Well, Nana didn't say much, just that there was going to be some kind of test, and if we passed it, then she would leave us alone, and if we didn't, she would take us to her castle of cloud and thunder. And what happens there? Well, that's when she takes the <laughs> Once you get into the closet, you can't get out of the closet, because that's when she takes and then we all die. Well, nice to know there's still some poetry left in the world. Okay. As fun as that story was, I think we should just get back to work. We'll just be careful. Always. Sorry to keep you waiting. We understand if you want to take your business elsewhere. You show no respect for me or my storm, and now you must face judgment. You cower from my might behind these semi-boarded walls, and now you must feel it in full. Like, go outside? Yes, where you will endure all the gust and furor I can muster. That's fine if you can convince Charles. Charles? He's our boss. He's pretty intent on us staying open, so someone's gonna have to stay here. The blood of my summoner shall stay behind to fulfill your oath. That's Wilma? I'm pretty sure. You guys made it back. Central Florida hurricanes just don't get that bad here. People make a big deal over nothing. Now if we had to find a house with power in a wooded area, or take a gas. that would have been a problem. No. Fine suggestions. You'll get whoever's next. Thanks. All right, back to sitting around and trying not to think about Andy Nelson's party. Oh, the Nelson's out in Hampstead Park. Yeah. Your father's a third level shaman. Oh, I didn't know that. They got an air hockey table. <laughs> I love air hockey. Look. I know we're all disappointed right now, but there might be a way to turn that around. That branch isn't even a foot in diameter. All three of you are going on the bread line. Hi, I'm sorry, you know how employees can be. What can I get for you? 
You braved the storm to work? That's right! Here at Ronnie D's Diner, not even a force of nature can stop us from delivering fast, quality burgers and sandwiches! We shall see. 